Well, after day one saw nearly all of our local teams win in advance at the state tournament, day two has officially wrapped up with classes C2 through D2 on the docket. So we start tonight with the powerhouse that is Lincoln Luther in the top seed in class C2, trying to win its third straight volleyball championship. Set one, Mackenzie Sidlow with the big swing. The Warriors take the 9-5 to five lead. Set point, it's Sidlow again and Lutheran. They take the set quite easily, 25-13. Second set, Sophie Wolgemuth floats one. That finds the floor. Lutheran in control up 21-11. So on to set three we go. Guess who? It's Sidlow on the attack again. She connects the number one seed. Looking the part, they sweep eight seed Summerlin. Three sets to nine. They play the winner of this next one. Five seed Elmwood Murdoch taking on four seed U10. And the seeding suggests, well, it's going to be a tight one, and it was a tight match early. Mora Takata splits the block to tie things up in set one. The Knights then deliver a heavy dose of Annie Backemeyer tonight. Backemeyer finding the back line, and you know, with us, the pun was intended. The sophomore middle blocker doing it again. Elmwood Murdoch, they pull off the mild upset. They take this one in four sets over U10. Well, those two matches, those were part of the evening festivities at Pinnacle Bank Arena tonight, but the majority of our local teams took to the hardwood earlier today, and that's where our very own Mason Kern takes over. The NSAA State Volleyball Tournament continues at Pinnacle Bank Arena with quarterfinal action in classes C2 through D2. In the 4-5 matchup of Class D1, it's BDS taking on Amherst Broncos. Took the first set 30-28. Lucy Van Rankin rips the kill in set two, giving Amherst a one-point lead. BDS ties it up later. Hannah Herrick goes for the kill, but Chloe Carlson is there for the Eagles block. BDS wins the set, and in the third, Sid Mu tools the block. Amherst has a six point lead and rides it to a set three win. And then it's the Saren Prickett show in the fourth. Kill after kill. This has the Broncos up nine, but the finishing touch comes from Van Rankin. She tight ropes the kill along the net on match point as Amherst pulls off the upset to keep hopes alive for their first state title in school history. We are the only class to go four years in a row at Amherst and all of us are very proud of each other and I'm so, so, so excited to keep going. I love playing with them. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. St. Mary's and SEM are the 3-6 matchup. Mustangs took set one. Cardinals trying to tie the match. Alyssa Brabick sets up Larissa Riemann for the kill. St. Mary's is up six. Mustangs staying in it. Kaylee Laxon rises up for the big solo low block that trims the deficit to four but the Cardinals tie up the match to set point in the third it's Riemann again rising up and hammering home Cardinals go up two to one but on set point for SEM in the fourth Micah O'Neill comes through with the clutch tip into no man's land so we're going to five and on match point Jacelyn Hoos delivers the service ace to seal it the Mustangs get the upset and earn their first win at state since the championship team of 19 1981. We actually have a team thing called the Little Mustard Seed. The faith the size of mustard seed and we can move mountains. And I feel like saying that quote in that fourth set really helped us out. So that's probably why we won this, the last two sets. The upset's not done in D1. Seven seed Elgin Public Pope John takes two seed Southwest to five. Kira Nelms ends a 4 nothing EPPJ run in the frame with the kill here. Splitting the block to keep the Rough Riders in it. But the Wolfpack well, they're hunting, and on set point, Bailey Busteed sets up Sarah Bodie, who delivers the match-winning kill. It's their first win at state since 2016. Our main goal is to get down here. Being the number seven seed coming in, we were kind of nervous, but we knew that if we played our game, we could do it, and we did it. And we got told to play Wolfpack Volleyball and have fun. Stay focused, but have fun and go play our game. Burwell makes its first state tournament appearance since 1998. Already down one nothing to top seed GACC. Brooklyn Gideon finds Kennedy Kilmeck for the kill. That cuts the Burwell deficit to seven in set two. But the Blue Jays are in full control, and GACC flies to a sweep. Match point, the ace from Jaden Arisman seals it. GACC gets its first win at state since 2016. Three to nothing. While there's upsets from several teams in Class D1, it stays relatively chalk in D2 despite pressure from the lower seeds. Overton looks the part of the number two seed against Central Valley. Jolie Ryan gets the overpass kill as the Eagles sweep
keep the Cougars continuing on in their fifth straight state tournament appearance. Yes, we're the higher seed, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Like, we're here, so are they. Every other team earned a spot here, so we just got to play our game. Us seniors have played together our whole lives, so, I mean, definitely just making our younger selves proud. Top-seeded Cambridge draws Shelton in the quarterfinals. Bulldogs down one in the match. Aaron Gegg gets the setup in the middle and finishes it off. Shelton ties it at one apiece, but Aaron Johnson helps propel the Trojans to a victory. It's their first win at state since 2008. Do what we did this like today, we just push through. We've never made it this far, so we just got to keep pushing. We got down sometimes, but we picked each other up and it was great. Stewart and Meridian go head to head in the 6 3 matchup. Broncos up a set, but down in the second, Addison Steinhauser with a huge block to trim the deficit to three. Mustangs tie the match and roll after that. Blocks come in bunches. Jaylee Sabaka adds one here as Meridian holds off Stewart in four. It's the Stangs' first win at state since 2017. This year, obviously, the goal was to make it to state, but then really win that first round. We are very young this year, and a lot of people are new to this. Um, we knew we had to fight back, and we just kept our heads high, I guess. The state semifinals begin for all classes tomorrow. Reporting in Lincoln, Mason Kern, Local 4 Sports.